Hello, my name is Gabriel and welcome to the Brazilian Guitar Chops. In my previous video, I taught how to apply to the guitar a typical articulation of a percussion instrument that is widely used in Brazilian music, the pandeiro. If you haven't seen it yet, please click on the link in the description and check that out because this is the follow-up lesson from that one. So in today's video, I will demonstrate that articulation being applied to an excerpt from a real piece of music and then we are going to extract an exercise out of that. But before we move forward, this is part of my complete program that I will release here on my channel. So if you are interested, please hit the like button, subscribe and don't forget to activate the notifications for the follow-up lessons. Now let's get started. This song is a kind of modern choro or chorinho. I will play that firstly without any articulation and then with the melody being articulated so that you can feel the difference. As you can hear, this articulation completely changes the mood of the melody. It gets more groovy. That's what really adds the spice when you are playing Brazilian music on the guitar. So what we are going to do now is to take the first four bars of this line and use it as an articulation drill. First of all, let's understand what we are about to play. This phrase is built on a melodic fragment that we call the 1-2-3-5 pattern or if you are into jazz music, this is the famous Coltrane pattern. I don't want to get into the theory of that because the focus here is to get this pattern under the tip of our fingers, so let's stick to the essential. Basically, it's a major triad arpeggio, for example, C, root, E, third, and G, fifth. One, three, five. But with the addition of the second degree concerning the root, which in this case is the D natural, so we have C root one, D two, E three, and G five. One, two, three, five. In this exercise, this pattern is played with two different fingerings. Let's call the one that I have just shown you shape number one. And it works either when you will start the pattern with the root on the fifth string. In this case, C, one, D, two, E, three, and G, five. Or starting in the fourth string, in this case, F, one, G, two, A, three, and C, five. And finally, starting on the second string, in this case, E flat, one, F, two, G, three, and B flat, five. Now, the other fingering for when you will start with the root on the third string is a little bit different. Let's call it shape number two. In this case, we have B flat, one, C, two, D, three, and F, five. B flat, one, two, three, five. B flat, one, C, two, D, three, and F, five. Good job, now let's play all the patterns in the exact order of the exercise. C, F, 
B flat E flat All right, we have just played through almost the entire line. Now let's check how it ends. After playing the 1 2 3 5 pattern starting on E flat on the second string, it goes to a descending A flat major triad. So, A flat root, E flat fifth, C third, and A flat root again. One, five, three, one. And finally, as soon as it lands on the A flat on the fourth string, it connects to the one, two, three, five pattern again, but this time starting from the G on that same string. So G one A two B three and D five. Finally, resolving into the C natural on the third string. One, two, three, five, C. So, A flat, triad. G, one, two, three, five. Landing on C. All right, here is the complete line. C, fifth string, shape one. F, fourth string, shape one. B flat, shape two, third string. E flat, second string, back to the shape number one. A flat, descending triad. G, one, two, three, five. Landing on C natural. Nice work. Now let's practice the complete line a few times with the metronome. Great work! Now let's start dealing with the articulation. In this exercise, every pattern is composed of four note groupings and every grouping fits one beat. The articulation consists of placing an accent and a an staccato always on the first and the last note of each grouping. Very good, so you can either stick to that same area of the fretboard or as a bonus workout, as soon as you get comfortable with this phrase, you could start moving it up and down the fretboard to cover a wider range. It's not rocket science, it's the same line, the same fingerings, it's the same everything. You just have to shift the position as you need. In the following example, I move the complete phrase up and down the fretboard, always starting from a natural note on the fifth string. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
it's a great exercise for alternate picking because there's a combined demand of synchronism for the articulation and picking precision since you are constantly playing on adjacent strings. And that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this lesson. And as I said, this is part of my complete program that works with the Brazilian rhythms as a building platform for your chops. So if you enjoy it and want to take the full training, please see the link below. You can check for the complete schedule on my website. Until the next lesson, ciao!